Hey, uh, AJ, how's the offseason been going for you as you all are transitioning to a new regime and the uh, new defense there? Uh, everything's been going good. Um, you know, meeting with the coaches, getting down to the new defensive system, and, you know, everything's just been going good so far. Hey, and uh, what's your take on Dean Pease? He He's a old defensive back coach. You know, I know him back in his Miami of Ohio days. Uh, we're both a little older now, but uh, he likes to play, play from the back to the front. Does that suit you well or suit the secondary and so forth? Yeah, uh, definitely. You know, Dean P is a uh, well-experienced coach. Um, definitely look forward to this season with him and, you know, all the things that he's going to bring to the defense and to the team. So, you know, I, I really like where we at so far and uh, just can't wait to learn more. Thank you. Tori McElhaney? Yeah. AJ, what's your personal goal for, for this year? Is there any part of your game that you want to see evolve further? Uh, you know, every year I feel like, you know, I, I want to see myself evolve and get better in, in a lot of things, whether it be, you know, just playing just my position at cornerback, just getting better at, you know, man zone, whatever the, the, uh, the team need me to do and uh, try to perfect my craft at it. We were talking to Foye just a minute ago about the multiplicity of Dean Pease's scheme. And from your perspective, have you seen, I know it's still early. I know y'all are still in the install process, but do you feel, Feel kind of the sense of y'all becoming almost like Swiss Army knife it, units to a certain extent. Yeah, uh, I feel like this defense gives us a, a variety of you know things that we can do. Whether you know whether it just be anything, just you know all the coverages, uh, you know play man, all the zone, you know blitz and everything. Just very multiple, and you know everybody is hands on and active during the defense. So you know something I look forward to this year. Zach. Where's the game ball from your fourth game, the interception against the Vikings? Yeah, it's at the house. Is it the house? Yeah, it's at the house. Right on the mantle, right away? Right away. Yeah. Um, as, as for practice, we were talking to a Jake yesterday uh, for the OTAs. He said, you know, maybe the biggest difference in the culture, he thought, was just, I guess, the professionalism, I think he said, from the staff and everybody. Um, what would you say uh, is the, the big difference in the, the new culture Coach Smith is trying to instill? Uh, definitely, you know, like like you said, that and just accountability and uh, selflessness, uh, a lot of that going on and, you know, just holding everybody accountable. Like I said, is the main thing, just coming in every day to work and trying to get better and not being selfish. Thank you. Do you have a follow up? Uh, yes. Um, what are, what will be some of the things that, you know, um, the other cornerbacks that y'all, uh, as they, they come in that, that are, you know, playing, you know, you kind of the veteran as a second year guy, <laughs> but I know Fabian has been in re league for years, but uh, how do y'all try to, you know, uh, focus on getting better and, and trying to improve the pass defense? Uh, you know, like I, you know, last year, I didn't really have this whole experience, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. The rookies got right now. So for me, I'm just, you know, helping them, you know, just with anything, any questions or, you know, anything I see out there on the field, um, I'll correct them or, you know, just tell them again they playbook, you know, because we got time and, you know, just trying to keep their head straight. You know, coaches may be hard on them and stuff like that, but that's just part of it. Just be coachable and just uh, move along and just play ball. Thank you. Tori, do you have anything else? Yeah, AJ, just going off of what you just said about, you know, you didn't have this time last year. Now that you have it, does it almost feel like it, it's it's like a gift that you've been given? Does it feel that way? <laughs> right. I, you know, it, it feel good. You know, like, like I said, I feel like I'm still in the rookie stage again because everything is still new to me. I'm still asking questions on what we got next. Like, you know, I'm, I'm curious and everything. But, uh, you know, it's been going smooth, um, you know, having a good time and just being in the building with the guys. Uh, and trying to kill this COVID too, you know, just being around each other and just having fun and going out there and compete every day. Zach, last one. Yeah, yeah just real quick. Uh, you know, I don't know if rookies ever get comfortable, but you know, how long did it take you to feel, I guess, normal or, or comfortable in, in, in that system a, a year ago, or just playing in the league? And how much do you think having going through this now will help you in year two? Uh, you know, coming in last year, you know, I had a lot of confidence, so um. It was, it was, I, I mean, I fit, I fit, fit in quickly. 
I say just um with the with the uh Zoom calls we had and then finally getting in the building, uh making you know more relationships with the team and the coaches. And I you know, I just caught on quick and then going into this year, you know, I feel like I done been there and done that. So now it's like, who can I help? You know what I mean? So now it's you know, I feel good.